Have you been asked to journalize a transaction involving a credit card and you're not quite sure how to do that? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it can be. But first, I want to say I believe something wonderful is going to happen for you today. So be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. In this transaction, we've got Capco Inc. selling merchandise for $5,000. And for that purchase, they accepted a customer's credit card. The credit card issuer charges the merchant a 4% fee. Journalize the transaction. So this is a typical transaction that you might see in a problem involving a credit card sale uh, of merchandise, or even it could be for services as well. And I'm going to show you exactly how to journalize that and put that into the general journal. But to do that, I like to use some T accounts to set it up first. I believe the easiest way to handle transactions like this is to first set it up in some T accounts such as this. If you would like your own sheet with T accounts like this, there's a link down below in the description where you can get your own. But we've got a couple of accounts that we're going to deal with. We certainly are going to deal with the cash account and we're going to deal with the sales account. And we're going to introduce another account that's called credit card expense. And just as a reminder, the different types of accounts, what they are, so cash account is an asset account. And asset accounts, as you may recall, go up with debits and down with credits. And if you don't remember debits versus credits, I've got a video up here that I've linked up here that you can take a look at and it'll refresh your recollection. Sales is a revenue account and therefore it goes up with credits and goes down with debits. And credit card expense, since it's an expense account, it goes up with debits and down with credits. So let's take a look at this transaction. The first thing we know is that we sold merchandise for $5,000. So we can go ahead and put that in our sales account. And since it's an increase in sales, I'm going to credit it for $5,000, just like that. Now, we don't receive all $5,000 because there's a credit card fee involved. So let's figure out the amount of the credit card fee. I'm going to use my handy Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator for that. And we'll go ahead and enter the information. And our sales is 5,000. By the way, if you'd like to get your own version of this calculator, I've got a link there um, right on the screen that you can click on and get your own shipped right to your home. So we have $5,000 and I'm going to multiply it by 4%. And remember, if we've got 4%, we need to convert that to a decimal, and we do that by moving the decimal place over two spaces, 0, 0.4. And if you don't remember how to convert decimals to percents or percents to decimals, I've got a video linked right up here that will remind you how to do that. So we're going to multiply the $5,000 times 0 0.04, and that's going to tell us that our fee is $200. $200. So that's $200 that's going to go to the credit card company. So I'm going to put that expense here as a debit because it's increasing our expenses. $200. And finally, we're going to get the amount of cash. Well, it would be the 5000 minus the 200 and I've got $200 here already. So I can just hit the plus minus, turn it into a negative, and add back in the 5,000. And that means our cash is going to be a debit of $4,800.
Now that I've laid everything out in the T accounts, it's a simple matter to put it into the general journal. Uh, so we'd put the date, whatever the date is here, and we always do our debits first. Thank you for that thumbs up. That is really helpful to the channel. If you are getting some value out of this, consider subscribing. And we've got some membership programs as well. You can click the join button and that includes some one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and online and uh, I can get um, suggestions from you as to videos. Um, I will do that for members. So jo consider joining. And so our cash is our first debit and that is for the so I'm going to put in cash and that's for four thousand eight hundred dollars and then we've got a debit for credit card expense of two hundred and finally we have sales is our only credit so I'm going to indent that and that's our five thousand dollars here so we've got debits of cash and credit card expense and a credit of sales of five thousand and the five thousand is our credits and 4,800 plus 200 is 5,000 on our debit side. So our debits and credits equal. And then oftentimes you would record some information here about this um, sale of with credit card. Depending on the organization you're with, how much detail you would put in the in the line here, but sometimes the transactions don't have that, but I think that's a good idea to put it down so you know what the transaction actually is. So that is how you journalize a transaction of a sale of merchandise using a credit card. A sale of services would be handled pretty much exactly the same and i could do a video on that if you would like but that is all i have for you today as i mentioned you can help support this channel by becoming a member you can click the join button down below and there are several different options for joining and select the one that works best for you and if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.